There are a lot of health issues that can come about as, as a direct result of bile becoming too thick and sticky to flow correctly. Issues like loose stools, acne, nausea, weight gain, high blood pressure, and a whole lot more. So I'm going to share with you in this video five steps you can take to help your clients thin their bile so it can flow better. Which means you'll have a new trick in your toolbox to help your clients improve a wide variety of health issues. Let's jump in. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. To review the most important aspects of proper bile flow, I like to remind people that when the liver filters toxins and junk out of the system, it puts that junk into our bile so it can be taken out the back door. This is the body's most effective way to take out the trash. So this is a crucial aspect of, of proper bile flow. If the trash can't be taken out, toxins can accumulate, leading to issues like nausea, weight gain, acne and skin issues, or, or high blood pressure. So once the liver puts this junk into the bile, the bile then comes down into the gallbladder where it can be stored and, and concentrated up to 18 times. When the food we acidify in our stomach moves into the duodenum, that's when the gallbladder drops this bile down onto the acid product to neutralize those acids. This action also helps us truly break the food down. If those acids don't get neutralized, the body can rush this acid product through the system and that can create chronic diarrhea issues. It's like the body is trying to move it out the back door as fast as it possibly can before the acids burn a hole in the intestinal tract. This speedy stool also makes it hard for us to assimilate the nutrients in the food we're eating. But the real benefit that occurs when this alkaline bile meets with the acid product that leaves the stomach is the sizzle this action creates. When opposite pHs collide like this, it creates a sizzle and that sizzle is what helps us fully break down our food and access all the nutrients in that food. Without this sizzle, you can't get all the benefits out of the food you're eating. You need both the acid side and the alkaline bile side working correctly or you can't access all the nutrients in your food. Without that sizzle, you end up with nutrient, mineral, and vitamin deficiencies which can eventually lead to just about any health problem. Beyond all these benefits, bile is also how we emulsify or break down our dietary fats. So if you can't break down these fats, you can't access fat-soluble vitamins. These undigested fats, if you can't break them down, can also turn toxic and, and become a burden that the body has to try to get rid of. This can lead to, to weight gain, acne, or other skin issues, nausea, and a whole lot more. So as bad as all that is, that also means for you that, that by helping your clients improve bile flow, you can help them improve all kinds of health problems. So you can see how important it is to, to make sure bile is thin enough so that it can flow properly and, and do all the jobs that it's, it's intended to do. The problem is there's a lot of things in our world and in our environment that can thicken up the bile and make it so that it doesn't flow correctly. And this, this problem is very common. From the clients that come to you with health issues, you're going to see that about 70% of them will have problems with bile flow. Now, that's not to say that 70% of people have problems with, with bile flow issues, but when there's other health issues and that are present, you're going to see bile flow issues in about 70% of those clients. And some of those will be because the lack of bile flow is creating the health issues, and some will be because the health issue is causing problems for the bile flow. Now here are the things that will most commonly thicken up the bile for your clients. The first one is grains. They can be really problematic for, uh, for some people. And then there's processed foods. Do you know any clients that are eating processed foods? Yeah, they're, they're everywhere. You can't hardly hide from processed foods and, and that's, mo that's the majority of what most of our clients are eating. The next thing is, is a low fat diet. Now, Back in the 80s, when we thought the low-fat diet was the right thing, uh, it really restricted bile flow because when you're not eating a lot of fats, you're not calling on that bile to do its action and come down and emulsify those fats and help us break them down. So if the bile isn't getting called on, it kind of sits there and it continues to concentrate and then it becomes too thick and sticky to flow correctly and, and that can be a really big problem. The next issue that can thicken up bile for our clients is high estrogen levels. We'll see a lot of clients that are like on birth control that can really raise estrogen levels or, or other medications can raise estrogen levels. And a lot of like, it's really popular right now to do hormone replacement therapy. Like 
Estrogen is a stress hormone and then the body will elevate that hormone to kind of help the body function correctly when there's not enough resources there. So yeah, cramming 10 times the amount of estrogen that would normally be in the body into the system is really going to improve some symptoms. So it becomes a very popular therapy. The problem is you can see all the problems that come from thickening up bile, which high estrogen has the ability to do. So this can be a really big problem for a lot of our clients. And finally, a catabolic imbalance is an issue that we kind of teach professionals how to look at clients' unique bioindividuality and, and teach the clients how to run simple self-tests that they can do at home with tools they can pick up at a pharmacy or, or a health food store. And my book, Health Pro Results, will walk you through the process and help you understand how to look at your clients' unique bioindividuality. Now, this book is on Amazon, but I'm going to put a link in the description below this video so you can download it for free and get the whole book totally for free and, and kind of walk you through how to do that process. But when you see that a client is leaning on too far on this catabolic side and dealing with a catabolic imbalance, like we call it, that has the ability to really thicken up the bile and, and keep it from flowing correctly. So when you can help a client uh, correct that imbalance, you can improve the ability for the bile to flow as well. Now, we'll cover some steps that you can use with clients to, to thin their bile so that it'll flow better. But first, let's look at some markers that'll help you figure out if a client might be dealing with some of this thickening bile and poor bile flow. Just keep in mind that a client won't usually have all of these markers, but even if a client is just dealing with one of these markers, that can often be a strong enough sign that they might need to take steps to thin bile to help it flow better. So that first marker is going to be a light colored stool, like a stool that's lighter than the color of corrugated cardboard. So bile is often what helps us make our bile a dark brown color. So when there's not enough bile flow, we can see a lighter colored stool and, or the stool color will vary according to what they eat. You might see it lighter sometimes and darker sometimes. And that's a really strong indication that bile is not flowing very well. Now another marker can be loose stools. So when bile isn't there to neutralize the acids leaving the stomach, these acids are too hot for the intestinal tract. The stomach is meant to hold those acids, but the intestinal tract is not. So if acids are not neutralized, the body will kind of bring all the water there to kind of cool it off and try to rush it out the back door and then it lifts you off the toilet like a rocket. So when the stool is moving that fast, it also makes it very difficult to assimilate the nutrients in the food that we're eating. So that's not great. Now, the next marker can be nausea. Remember that the bile is taking the toxins out the back door. So if the bile isn't flowing, all these toxins that the liver filters out, they get reabsorbed into the system. And when the system becomes too toxic, that can make a person feel very nauseous. Also, difficulty digesting fats can make a person feel nauseous as the undigested fats become toxic from when they rot and ferment since they're not being broken down properly. So I like to ask my clients, do you feel lousy after you eat a meal that, that's high in fat? And if that's the case, then that can be a really strong sign that, that bile is not flowing correctly. Another marker can be acne or, or skin issues. So when toxins can't be taken out the back door through the bile like they're supposed to, the body will try and push them out through the skin and that can clog up pores and cause inflammation and, and acne and, and issues like that. So to understand this better, we'll put some information about acne in the description uh, below the video as well. So the next two markers we teach you how to do in that Health Pro Results book that you can get for free in the description below the video. We teach you how to help clients look at their pHs and if the saliva pH is 6.5 or lower, that's a strong indication that bile is not flowing well. We also show you how to get these 10 parameter urinalysis dipsticks and, and you can show your clients how to get these on Amazon. They're, they're cheap, but your clients can check these dipsticks and if these markers for bilirubin or urobilinogen show up, that's a strong sign that bile is not flowing correctly. And we'll put the link in the description for the pH strips and, and the 10 parameter strips so you can kind of see what we're talking about. And, and the book can teach you more markers to kind of look at if you need them. But for a lot of clients, some of these markers are, are just going to scream so loud that you're not going to need to look at other things. It's going to be really obvious that they're going to have to take steps to improve uh, bile flow. Now let's look at these five steps that you can take with clients to help them get their bile moving a little bit better. 
Number one step, and this is actually the, the, the easiest and the, and the free step, is, is just to reduce grains and processed foods that the client is eating. And they're going to say, you know, why, why you got to mess with what I'm eating? Why, why you got to tell me what to do? But, but the reality is that, you know, one of the best things that you can do to help clients to improve is to remove the things that are causing the problem. You know, we're always kind of looking for these, you know, remedies to help people improve these issues when sometimes you just need to remove the wrong thing. So this doesn't mean that the client can never eat another processed food again. They're just trying to reduce the burden that might be making things a lot worse. So that can be a really big one. And the second step is the easiest and the most effective because if you're just going to reduce, you know, grains and processed foods, to improve bioflow is going to take a really long time. So we want to try and speed that up by using supplements. So there's some supplements that we can use to kind of thin that bile so that it'll flow better. We like to use a product called Beet Flow from Empirical Labs. Now, we're not the manufacturers and this is not a paid promotion. This is just what we found that works the best with our clients. But as a professional, if you go to naturalreference.com, you can apply for a professional practitioner account. Now, you're gonna have to prove that you're a professional by showing your website or your license or something like that. But if you can get a professional account and your clients buy products like BeatFlow and such, then you can earn a commission. You know, we tend to promote things that we see work and you're going to see this work. So as a health professional, it's nice when you can increase your income by suggesting things that you're going to suggest anyways. So if you can get that account, that'll help you when you know, your clients start to use these things. Now, BeatFlow works well because it has concentrated beet greens juice. Beets don't really do anything to thin the bile, so don't tell your clients, hey, eat a bunch of beets, you know, thinking that they're going to fix anything. It's not going to do it. So, and don't tell them to use beet root capsules. You need concentrated beet greens juice. Now, a person could, you know, be eating beet greens, but, but, but to be effective as, as this beet flow supplement, they're going to have to have like a bucket of beet greens every day. They're going to look like a horse when they're eating. So that can be more work than it's worth. I find that most clients prefer to take the easier steps even if they have to pay for a supplement to do that. And, and the most effective step that we see people do is using the beet flow. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you how to do a beet flow flush with this supplement that can really speed up the process. Okay, so number three might not be your client's favorite, but it's a coffee enema or a coffee suppository. And they might not be real super excited about this. Like, why you got to put stuff up the back door? I'm, I kind of want stuff to come out the back door. But a coffee enema or a coffee suppository is really good at dilating that biliary pathway or opening it up. And it makes it easier for the bile to flow properly. So beet flow thins the bile and then an enema or a, or a suppository can kind of open it up and it'll flow a little bit better. And, and if an enema is too hard or messy for the client, we'll put a link below in the description for a good coffee suppository that's easier and most clients seem to like that idea a little bit better. Okay, number four is a supplement called choline. And choline is really great at thinning the bile so that it can flow better, but only some clients can use choline. You really, really don't wanna use choline with a client if it's not right for their body chemistry. So in my book, you'll learn how to figure out if a client's blood is leaning too far on that alkaline side. And if it is, and you use choline, it can create oxygen utilization issues and even energy production problems and, and can make them feel really lousy. But in the same regards, you may have other clients that where choline can like completely change their life and turn their whole world around by correcting and balance in the other direction. So choline can be a possibility. You just really want to know, is this right for this client or not? And number five is to help clients lower estrogen levels if they're dealing with high estrogen issues. You know, maybe they're using a medication that can really raise estrogen levels and, and maybe they're using some type of birth control that raises estrogen or, or some other medication. So you can help them talk to their doctor about finding maybe an alternative or taking steps to uh, reduce the dose or, or the need for that medication. But this can be a really big problem because it's really hard to overpower high estrogen levels. You know, many of these other steps that we're talking about won't be as effective if the client keeps their estrogen levels really, really high. So that can be really important. Now, let's talk about a, a bonus step, and that's to consume more fats. You can just help the client increase the amount of dietary fats 
that they're consuming. But I would start with this with most clients. You don't want to rush into this one. If a client is showing signs of poor bile flow, like maybe they're nauseous or they're having acne or some of these other issues, then increasing the dietary fats could really magnify those issues because you're putting more of this burden of the undigested fats in the body. But as you increase your fats, basically the body's going to call on bile to drop down and emulsify these fats more and more. And just keeping that bile moving can help it keep it thin so it flows a little bit easier. So I kind of feel like it's better to take some of these other steps to just get it thinning a little bit better and, and start implementing these other things to get things moving. And then once you get some improvement, then you can have the client kind of increase their dietary fats and that can speed up the whole process. So some clients will have bile that's been backed up like for decades and they might need to get really aggressive to really get the bile flowing. So we like to see them do what we call a beet flow flush with that beet flow supplement that we talked about. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to a video that explains how to do this beet flow flush. It's really simple. And if you have really stubborn cases where it's really hard to get the bile moving, then they can do a beet flow flush on one day and then a Xenoplex coffee suppository the following day and then do that combo about once a week until the issue improves. And that, that seems to be the most effective way to really bring about great results. But you can see how crucial it is to help clients get their bile moving because it really can improve a wide variety of health issues. So if you need to dig into these topics a little bit more, just download that free book in the description below and that's gonna help walk you through these processes with a little bit more detail. I can't wait to hear how it goes.